If you like this video, please go ahead and consider hitting that like button. Subscribe if you have not already. And please, by all means, share this video. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another Farming Simulator 22 map first impressions video. Today, we're going to take a look at Terre Haute Agriculture. But before that, this video is brought to you by Big Papa Sims and Weapon XA. Thank you for being farm barons. So the Terry Holt Agriculture Map can be found over at the FarmingSimulator.com website or the in-game downloadable content menu. And as of the 1.0 release, this map is available for all platforms. Let me read you the description. Welcome to Terry Holt Agricultural Farm. This is a fictional map where you can do farming, forestry, and animal husbandry, which is beautiful, and the fields are very large. This map is mainly based on big agriculture. Accordingly, agricultural areas and their location have been determined. Hmm. Initially, you can explore the map with the owner of the farm and livestock farm, as well as two agricultural plots. On this map, you'll find just eight fields, one BGA, various production and sell points, octagonal buildings. Okay. Productions are available with a grain mill as well as a biogas plant and all DLC are fully supported. Now this map does have some required mods. Those required mods are hall with cooling chamber, package mega silo, American sheds, wide garage, lizard cow barns, my apartment, medium bale shed, big storage garage, sheep barn, metal garage, American Midwest Maintenance Shop, American Midwest Cold Storage, American Midwest Truck Shop, and American Midwest Fertilizer Shed. Now, in addition to those required mods, we are going to be using the mods we typically use when we look at maps. They are additional field info, additional game settings, animal food overview, field lease, field calculator, precision farming, and straw harvest. If you happen to load this map up in farm manager mode or start from scratch, you will find everything is set up exactly how you see it here in new farm mode. The fact is that you do not own any land, but the farms are built out exactly with buildings and you do start out with starting machinery. Also, if you are happen to be wanting to play this map and you have a lower end system, rest assured that you will get a nice solid 60 FPS because when I tested this using a system with integrated AMD graphics. I had no problems whatsoever in maintaining a nice solid 60 FPS. Let's go ahead and take a look at the PDA. And as the description said, this map has a total of eight fields. This is a standard size map. And the fact that there are just eight fields and a significant portion of the map is dedicated to agriculture. Some of these fields are extremely large. We do have all of our standard crops available to us in FS22 on this map. And if we take a look at our farmland screen, you can see we start by doing farmland ID 1 and 3. Farmland ID 1 is the main arable farm. Farmland ID 3 is the animal farm. Farmland, farmland ID 1 can be bought for $1.1 million. And farmland ID 3 for $428,000. As such, I highly recommend you start this map up in new farmer mode. That way you already own these two pieces of land and you do have some nice starting machinery as well. There is a biogas plant that is available here at Farmland ID 8 that can also be bought for $173,000. Let's go ahead and take a look at our farmland lease screen. This is going to show us all of the viable farmlands, how large they are, which fields are included, and then how much is that farmland going to cost? Our largest farmland is going to be farmland ID4. It's going to be able to be bought for $5,868,000. Farmland ID6 is right behind it at $4.2 million. And then farmland ID5 at 74.4 hectares is going to be $3.7 million. Let's go ahead and take a look at our field calculator screen. This is going to show the specific sizes of each particular field. And we see we start out with a field three is 11.65 hectares and field seven, 3.89. Those are our two starting fields. Meanwhile, the largest field on the map is going to be field eight at 106.59 hectares. Field right next to that, as far as size goes, is 74.67. So again, big time farming 
this would make a pretty decent map for a small multiplayer group. It's going to take a look at the precision farming soil map. This map is using the US soil map that is included with the precision farming mod. With such a heavy focus on agriculture, there isn't a whole lot of land that is not exposed here. And you can see how the US soil map has those diagonal bands of all of the different soil types from loamy sand all the way down to silty clay with a big, big swath of silty clay here in the north through through field six. This map does have the standard crop counter available to us in FS22. And with respect to our prices screen, we do indeed have the ability to sell all of the base game crops, as well as our animal outputs and eggs, wool, and milk. As we continue to move down, you will see that we do have the ability to sell most, but sadly not all of the productions that are available to us in the base game. Because for whatever reason, and this seems to be a pretty interesting trend, planks get ignored. Now, it's not so bad on this map because this map doesn't actually have a sawmill. But still, this is the only thing that we can't sell, planks. And this is really what's keeping us from getting a darn near good score on this map, is planks. Don't forget it, people. Now, with respect to your lime, we do have the ability to buy bulk lime, and we are also missing the ability to sell stones, which, given the size of these fields, I really wouldn't think you'd be playing with stones enabled anyway. But if you are crazy enough to do that, you will need to put down your own stone processor. With respect to the farm production pack, we do not have the ability to sell any of our washed root crops. And with respect to the platinum expansion, we do not have the ability to sell any of the platinum expansion production items. But we do, of course, have the ability to sell our premium expansion production items and crops. Also, if you are playing with pumps and hoses, we do have the ability to process our separated manure. And if you are playing with straw harvest, we do have an area to sell our hay and straw pellets. With respect to our starting fleet, we start out with a decent amount of starting equipment. It is all owned. None of it is leased. We do have a sheep barn and a cow barn over at the animal farm, but we don't have actually any animals at those two areas. We do have contracts available to us on this map. And we do not own any production chains. And then lastly, sadly, we do not have any collectibles. Let's go ahead and take a look at our starting fleet. We start out with the John Deere 6250R medium tractor. For our large tractors, we've got the John Deere 8R410, a pair of those actually. We've got the Fent 942 Vario. We have a pair of Kloss Axion 960s. We have another Fent 942 Vario. We have the New Holland T8. 435 Genesis and the John Deere 7R350. We've got the Kloss Laxion 8900 Large Harvester that's paired up with the Comaflex 1380 13.8 meter rain header. We have a Crone GX520 trailer as well as the Big Body 750S trailer. We have the PW112 Plow. The NZ Extreme 1425 Cultivator. We have the Saitan 15001C Cedar. We have the Aon 5200 Delta Force Trailed Fertilizer and Herbicide Sprayer. We have the TSW 6240W Manure Spreader and the PFW 18000 Max Line Plus Slurry Tanker. For our bales, we have the Fent Squadra. 1290 UD square baler. We also then have the Arcusen FSX 6372 square bale bale loading trailer and the John Deere 700 amp front loader arms. And for the front loader, well, we have the Ruby 2000 Sherby cutter. Interesting. As far as mods and DLCs, this map does not have any. As far as our farm tour goes, we have our apartment this is going to be our farmhouse with our sleep trigger and well we come over here to our bench to get to our wardrobe trigger we do have a dog somewhere around here and then we come into these huge huge sheds and inside each shed we're going to find well random vehicles and machinery we have our farm silo output pipe. 
And we have our farm silo dump station right there. We have a huge silo system. So here we have our fill pipe for our silo. And then we have our dump station for our silo located right there. More machinery and equipment storage. Harvester. Are you not going to let me out? Jeez, people. We've got our workshop located right over here. And then the trigger is going to be located inside this whole shed. And then we have some bale and pallet storage for a total of 250 bales or pallets. And that is pretty much going to be the, we'll call this the arable farm. Pull up the PDA. Now we go to the west over here to our animal farm. As you can see at the animal farm, we have three pull-through silage bunkers. A large cow shed. Three hundred cattle in all. We're gonna be able to be stored in here. We have our milk trigger. We have our straw trigger. We have our slurry point. And then inside we have our food crop. Some more storage. And then this is going to be our sheep barn. So we have our food here inside. We have our sheep delivery point. We're going to store a total of 450 sheep inside of here. And then we have our wall spawn point located right there. We have slurry and manure storage. Another bale and pallet building here. Not seeing anything pop up as far as capacity goes. And another easy shed. And everything at this area can also be sold. In fact, everything at both of these farm areas can completely and utterly be sold. So if you wanted to, you could sell everything and just start from scratch. Now if we swing to the south, we're gonna come over here to our biogas plant. Now I tried to sell the biogas plant and I was unsuccessful in doing so. So you're pretty much gonna be stuck with the BGA as it is here. We have two large three-sided silage bunkers. And then we have the Elm Creek biogas plant with the two digesters we have our interactive icon our digestate is going to be on the right and the dump point for slurry is going to be on the left with respect to our scoring we're going to give the map a full point with respect to production being built in or areas set aside for such because we have two productions built in we have the bga which we just looked at and a grain mill so here we have a farmer's market sell point. We have our lime buy point located right there. 
We have our brain mill, so we have an interactive icon, out spawn point, and our dump point. And then we have our bowling alley cell point. If we continue to make our way down the southern part of the map, I do want to say that, that while today we have put out a lot of map videos because Giants dropped five maps, this is my fifth map video recording for the night. I can't help but feel that there is a whole lot of similarities between some of these maps that we've taken a look at tonight. We have our grocery with our cell point there. Our vehicle dealer. And here we're gonna go ahead and pick up our Mahindra. We've got our vehicle spawn point here, rather large area for our vehicles to spawn at, at which is great because we're gonna have huge, huge fields like field eight which is directly across from the dealership. We also then have our dealer trigger located right there. We're gonna have our fuel. Then we have another grain cell point located here in the extreme southwest corner of the map. Now we're gonna traverse all the way up to the extreme northwest corner of the map to get to the final two points of interest and as such well you're going to get to see how huge field eight really is because we're going to have to go the entire length of this field in order to get up to the next point of interest with respect to the ability to sell all of our basic crops animal outputs and production points we're going to be giving the map three quarters of a point there because well we do not have the ability to sell planks it's the second map tonight, but at least with the first map, it had a sawmill, which kind of made it a little bit worse than this one. With respect to the farms being customizable, yes, the farms are fully customizable. So we're going to go with a full point there. And we're also going to go with a full point with respect to buildings and textures using the new texturing technique. Here we have our animal dealer trigger. And then we're going to find our animal dealer bale cell point located here along the side and that folks that's a wrap for this map now it's the last one triggering the interactive areas being clearly marked we're getting the map a full point there as well so the harsh reality is if we could sell planks on this map it would have had a five out of five but instead nope it's going to get a 4.75 out of five an interesting map if you're going to go multiplayer, if you are a console player and you want to play with huge machines and experience big maps, either in single player or with friends, well, this map is probably going to be calling your name because there really aren't too many small fields on this map. And you're going to get a pretty easy time in working them because of their rectangular shape. They should be fairly easy to work with as well even with hired helpers. I'd love to hear y'all's thoughts down in the comments below with respect to this map. Or are you looking to maybe fire it up and see what you think? Or are you ready to move on to Farm Sim 25? Because honestly, I think a lot of folks at this point are completely ready to move on to Farming Simulator 25. And to some degree, have probably checked out. Now, those that have really checked out, they're not even watching this video. So it's it's kind of maybe a slanted question. Because if you're still watching these videos, then you really haven't fully checked out. But maybe you're on the fence. I know I'm on the fence. And, and I'm a creator, right? So just super, super looking forward to FS25. Go ahead and check the upper tick mark. I've got a whole playlist of FS25 news if you happen to maybe miss something. Till next time, happy farming.